Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My goodness, welcome everybody guys. Thank you so much for being here. Shout out to you. Oh my goodness, Jennifer's like, look, my two of my favorite worlds have been colliding this week. Storage, treasure hunting, and true crime slash court watching. Shout out to you guys. Let me do a little quick intro to give people some time to get in here and the notifications and whatnot. Shout out to everybody guys. Thank you so much for being here. Mm, shout out to everybody. Let's do this quick little intro. All right, let me greet some of these members. It's a pretty small house, so I think I could do that. Pika Nebulous, thank you for being here. Shout out to you guys. Jane, welcome. Shauna B, thank you for being here. DB, thank you so much. Oh, you're awesome, DB. Thank you for being here. Who else is in the house? Ava, thank you for being here. Molly, welcome. Thank you for being here. Yes, everybody, please hit the like button while you're here thank you so much for being here chico kitty cool perry ada let's see everybody else abby thank you so much you guys nebulous is in the house jody welcome you followed long before i found it oh shout out to you i mean they've been around for quite some time hey everybody welcome all the newbies Susie sp squirrel i had to look up what the hell's neighbors dispute gone horribly wrong and the judge is Clearly biased, question mark. Well, we're going to talk about that judge tonight. Angela, thank you so much. You guys, Terry, welcome. Let me just say this, that um, I'm spitting everywhere. But there are so many great, great, great creators um, here that are covering this. Shout out to them. I, I appreciate, you know, the breakdowns that they're doing. Uh, so I'm just one of many. The reason why I covered this was because I had just gotten so many emails. Um, I personally feel like there is an injustice happening here. And so what can we do but to spread the word out and do as much as we can as far as awareness when it comes to the situation? I'm all, I'm all for it, right? So shout out to everybody. For those that don't really understand what is going on, why don't we go ahead and start? I'm going to start by reading this article. Now, uh megan fox is another creator uh journalist who has been covering this story very much in detail she wrote an article that it really gives a really good summary for anybody that's completely new to this that's gonna help people like just help understand like what are some of the things that we have to kind of be mindful of the story shout out to her i linked I, first of all, I linked the article in the description box and crediting her channel as well as uh, what the house as well. So shout out to them. Um, but yes, thank you so much for being here. Everybody's coming through. Shout out to everybody. Okay. Let's start by reading this article. So what the hell's Florida judge attacks free speech on you of YouTubers and journalists. So link is in the description box for you guys to read this article. But she basically gives this breakdown. She says, Jeremy and George House have a very large YouTube channel with, ha oh, excuse me, with over half a million subscribers called What the House. Um, the channel focuses mainly on buying abandoned storage units and selling the contents for profit. The House family became so successful that, um, hold up. Uh, the house families became so su successful at it that they became philanthropic uh they began a philanthropic effort to give back to those around them sometimes buying abandoned storage units to return the contents to the owner the house family is well loved by their audience and community at least they were until they bought a property in levy or levy county florida what happened after that, the house say, involves being stalked, harassed by neighbors at gunpoint, defamed with post, uh, posted signs all over their own town alleging, alleging heinous crimes against children and more. When Jeremy filed for a protective order against his female neighbor, the state of Florida wouldn't give him one. So Jeremy filed in his home state of Ohio. 
where a judge took matters seriously and immediately granted the protective order. I think that this is an important part to point out. A judge in Ohio granted a protective order. They saw this as an immediate issue. Okay. So just keep that in mind as you're writing down, like, okay, I get this part. This is a very important part, I think, to know. Right, Dee Marie, this case is wild. So, and it continues. But the neighbors, the neighbor problem didn't go away. The neighbor then filed a protective order against Jeremy, which Judge Craig de Thomas temporarily granted. The injunction against Jeremy included an over uh, overboard restrictions of prior restraints on his free speech, ordering him not to talk about his neighbors on his YouTube channel. If anyone else uses his neighbor's name on his use on his excuse me on his channel or causes his neighbor to be contacted, the judge says Jeremy can go to jail. That's a huge one, right? Given the fact, you know, any creator here to put such a restriction, I'm just saying. But anyways, this puts journalists in an interesting position. If I reach out to the neighbor for her side of the story, a judge can jail Jeremy. In essence, a judge, in essence, a judge in Florida is restricting the right of the press to get to the heart of the story through threat, excuse me, through the rats are removing the uh, the liberty of the subject of the story. I don't know why I'm like tongue tied today. Mm -mm -mm. Need to do some uh, exercises or something. Yes. Oh, Jody, we're gonna get there. I promise. We gonna get there. So that's crazy, but that's what they did. All right. So regardless of the matters of fact between the neighbors, the real issue has become Judge Craig Thomas, who treats his courtroom like a star chamber. He has repeatedly chastised and berated Jeremy and his attorneys. You can see all that on video. You can watch all of that. He has refused to turn over public hearing records, claiming that they are private and can't be disseminated. He has refused to rescue himself recruit excuse me not rescue recuse himself recuse himself two times and is now facing a third motion to recuse one of the worst things that the judge has done to jeremy and his girlfriend is to restrict jeremy's movement on his own property without hearing the facts of the case it has been months since the neighbors filed the protective orders no evidentiary hearing has been held how is that how, how how is that possible? I'm not really sure, but that's how they get down over there. I just find this to be amazing. Jeremy cannot drive on his public road because it, um, it uh, excuse me, on the private, but I lost my place, on the neighbor's property, and he must stay 500 feet away from her property at all times. Further, he cannot use a large portion of his own front yard because of the injunction. This is just crazy. But hey, worse, his Second Amendment right has been removed with no evidentiary hearing to decide if he is actually a threat. Meanwhile, he says he's been threatened by the neighbor and her associates with all matter of bodily harm. He is also prohibited from hiring security due to the injunction, as he cannot be around anyone with guns. Larry Foreman, the DUI guy, a lawyer with the YouTube channel, and I went over the recent motion to dismiss the judge on a stream yesterday. Foreman has recap uh, has a recap of the events leading up to this situation on the video below. This will be an important and interesting case to watch. Can a judge show aggression and hostility towards respondent in this case? Because the respondent is a YouTuber and the judge doesn't like public attention and stay on the case. That is so that's interesting, right? He knows he's dealing with YouTubers. He doesn't like the attention. So and he's refusing to remove himself from the case. 
I think the judge has lost his mind. Truly. Mm -hmm. To a certain degree, he has lost his mind. Ooh, you said some of the lawyers I love on YouTube have been following this case for a little bit, but happy to hear you take. Thank you so much, love. And, you know, I am not coming out of a lawyer perspective. I'm just a person that wanted to give some commentary to it. Oh, right. Wasn't there a viable threat this morning against the house? Yes, there was. There was a lot of interesting position of power situation. Um, he's getting more attention, I would, uh, I would say so. Yeah, you're right. You're so right on that. You've been watching them for years. Shout out to you, Bryce. Thank you for sharing. So it's, mm, it, how is it allowed to continue? That is the question. Right. So. Why is that mad? Why is that an issue? Like, that, why should that be an issue for the judge? The judge often mentions that Jeremy makes money on YouTube. Well, he's not working for free. He should make money on YouTube. That's just my thought, but that's crazy. Just a thought. Okay, so let's get it together. Um, so far, he hasn't, and he doesn't look like he will suddenly reform. Okay. Here we go. Jeremy's evidentiary hearing is finally scheduled for March 1st, but the Thomas has put restrictions on his witnesses who, will, who don't appear to be on the plaintiff's witness list, which raised serious questions about how the trial can possibly be called fair. The judge has also forced the removal of one of Jeremy's lawyers due to the judge's naked hostility towards the lawyer, which is written in black and white all over his court orders. Interesting. Um, it's one of the worst cases of black robe itis. So I guess like, you know, because he's wearing a robe and he's a judge. I've seen in some years that Thomas truly believes he is the law and that everything he says becomes the law. Hmm. Even though his job is only to listen and interpret the law. I love how she wrote that there. <laughs> he said, look, judge, you're doing too much in that little robe. You're doing a little too much on that little rope. Well, I just, listen, I, I don't know. You think the, the judge has his own page? Well, now the judge has his own agenda at this point. You know what I'm saying? I mean, a grievance, definitely. If they file First Amendment, how the victim become the ones being penalized? Exactly. They're filing the restraining order and somehow the victims have become the aggressors. Because they have a YouTube channel? I'm kind of wondering. Yes, Abby, thank you for sharing that and, and letting everybody know that Jeremy's previous or uh yeah, previous lawyer stepped down due to Lynette's uh accusing him of trying to bribe her to drop this case. Now, Lynette as an L I E, okay, because we're distorting the name. And please don't contact these folks. We don't you guys know. Shout out to you guys because I know none of, nobody's going to take it there. But we, you know, I'm I'm trying to figure out if this is deeper. Like, is there a relationship? Are they connected? Are they related? Somehow, some of this just doesn't quite make sense. You know, like you would have to kind of wonder if there's a connection between these two, what that looks like, and. Are we going to find this out later? People are going to dig in. You already know, you know? Exactly. Judge hit vital evidence and proof from Jeremy. It's just, it keeps getting crazier and crazier, right? Okay. So instead, the Thomas spends um, an uh, inordinate, uh, inordinate amount of time in every hearing listening to the sound of his own voice. Complaining about YouTube, Jeremy's attorneys, and anything else he can think of to avoid hearing the evidence. So, this is interesting. He, this judge knows a lot about YouTube. He's so concerned about YouTube. This is the crazy part, right? I don't know. When Foreman began covering the story, his law firm received a hostile phone call, which some close 
to the story believe it could be connected to the court system and Levy County. The individual said he was planning on filing a bar complaint against Foreman. Foreman is Larry Foreman is the DUI guy. Uh, for covering the story. Retaliation against media trying to cover a public hearing creates a chilling effect on free speech. Definitely. I mean, this is, this is scary. What is going on in that court? The American public should want to know. I would agree with that. No matter who's telling the truth in this case, the Constitution demands that an accused person has a right to face his accuser in public. This means in the open free forum, excuse me, free from censorship, gag orders, and unconstitutional assaults on free speech. Judge Thomas might not like, uh, might not like what the hell's or Jeremy's speech, but he must, like the rest of us, tolerate it and restrain himself from favoring one side over the other. Shout out to Megan Fox, because this is so true. What, what, what is he doing? A judge is supposed to avoid even the appearance of bias which De Thomas has failed spectacularly at. He is clearly not fit to adjudicate this case and should not only uh, recuse himself, recuse himself, excuse me, but should be removed from the bench. This is just a shout out to Miss Megan again. You guys check out her channel. All her information is in the description box. I just, I, I cannot. Donna says, look, the judge has his own YT YouTube channel. When he ran for office, he, he used YouTube to do it. Whoa, really? I didn't know that. He used YouTube to run for office? That's so interesting. So, you know, I was thinking about this. I said, I wonder, there's got to be something out there that really talks about some of the things that people are saying now. There is a website by the name of Robing, the Robing Room. It's this one right here. And it's like a judge review web, like website where judges are judge. And I guess people can file complaints or not file complaints because it's not really a complaint, but it's kind of like a Yelp for judges. So it's going all the way because, you know, the current. The current reviews right now are of current things that are happening with this case, right? So I was like, let me scroll all the way down, all the way down to 2021. You said the judge is a failed YouTuber? Oh, Lord. See, man, well, I mean, mm, it's interesting. You see, he's got 12 subscribers, so don't think he wants to be a YouTuber. I don't think so either. <laughs> I didn't know he had 12. Wow. So I was reading some of this. I said, this is very interesting, right? As far as information goes and whatnot. Somebody posted something and gave him a one star and said, and this person said that they are a litigant. Uh, Craig to Thomas is condescending, mansplaining, patriarchal man who has no business as a judge, much less in a family court. From my perspective, there is nothing honorable about this man. This was a like a review back in, uh, what is it, 2021 in October. Dates are there. Check out the website. So there was no more reviews until 2023. Somebody put in here, and they said they were a criminal defense lawyer, which, again, these are self-disclosed. They're not like... I don't know if these are actual, you know, criminal defense attorneys that are writing this stuff. People just write reviews, okay? This judge should not even be a judge. This is what somebody says. He will let a father beat a kid behind the head and says it's corporal punishment. He's a poor excuse. Some grammar here. Uh, for a human being. We need to replace him in Levy County. Now he's going to try to hold the mother of the kids in contempt of court for protecting her children. Mm. And then there's more. So it jumps over to, it goes from September 2023 to November. Okay. Somebody wrote in here, this is a court staff, self-disclose. He was the judge I begged 
I begged to grant me a restraining order when I feared my partner was going to kill me. I was in physical and mentally abuse. Uh, I was in physically and mentally abusive relationship and found the courage to finally get away. The judge believed everything a master manipulator said and blamed the victim. This judge ignored previous charges of stalking. This judge let a criminal reoffend until finally incarcerated for more violent crimes. This judge had an opportunity to make the world safer. This judge is exactly what is wrong with the criminal justice system. This judge used his own biases to dictate the lives of civilians. This judge should not be allowed to practice. This judge should be sent to the bar and evaluate. There have been plenty of complaints against him. This judge has a reputation in the local area, but no one seems to do anything about it. That was in November of 2023. There's more, Pika. There's more. This is, it's it's up there. You spoke to this lady and she's still having problems now. This review is, are you serious, Abby? So wait a minute. It's straight up foul. So, so this is my, my concern, right? This is somebody who wrote a complaint about this judge not acting upon a restraining order, which is what we're seeing right now, right? Somebody's going to get killed. Like, I was watching Jeremy's video today, and I feel like I'm in fear, and I'm not even them. I'm in fear for them. I personally feel like people are not taking this serious. And let me tell you, to a certain degree, I watched, I, you know, I became a member of the channel. So I've been watching a lot of stuff. And it, I appreciate and I think that the way that they're doing things, especially Jeremy and George, is that they have a, a sense of humor about a lot of this, which I completely understand, right? Like you could hear Jeremy's voice in terms of, you know, when he gets upset and everything, and they're trying to have a sense of humor in order to cope with this. But this is serious. And so when I read that review about this judge not taking serious an, uh, a restraining order that this person, this victim, is wanting somebody to take, that kind of concerned me. I said, wow, like, are we waiting for somebody to get shot, to get hurt, to get killed? Um, because it's already overboard. Even today, by what Jeremy posted, it, it is really scary. It's to a certain degree. What worries me is that, I mean, I am not at all whatsoever at the following that, you know, Jeremy and George are at. But to have a judge not take your concerns seriously and be more concerned about YouTube, these people can get killed. And it, it, like if, if they don't act now, if they don't do something, if the, if the law doesn't intervene here and actually take them serious that's what gets to me about this whole situation do we know why this restraining order was filed in family court i don't know it, it you know it doesn't even give a whole lot of information d marie other than what they wrote in there um somebody wrote on the this year the judge is very unfair this was in january the judge is very uh arrogant the judge appears to be corrupt and easily influenced. This judge does not appear open to be open-minded. He acts like a lawyer and a judge for the plaintiff without representation. Now, if you go up, the rest of the reviews are um, definitely for uh, people that have been following the, the case. People have been saying different things here. So you guys check it out. But this is the website. All right. I'll make myself definitely smaller. Check, check out the website. The Roving Room where judges are judge and honorable Craig C. De Thomas is up there and they're reviewing him. Check it out. Check it out. I don't know. I, see, Jody, I don't know if that's just like something that they do in Florida. Like, I'm just like, is this like a Florida thing or what's going on? What, what had happened? So today, Jeremy and, and, and George drop this video. Okay, and this video I was watching and I said, you have got to be kidding me. 
And we, we're going to watch portions of it because I think that this is important. But this is the part that really does scare me for this 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 couple. Um, this It just does. Like, this whole situation really scares me. It really does. But anyways, let me go ahead and hit play. But in all reality, Lynette and Crook have done quite a few things. And you can see here, Jeremy Hales, mm. on behalf, I'm the petitioner, respondent, Lynette Preston or Lynette, however you want to go. And we talk about the addresses here, right? This is thick. Now, I've got to describe her. She's white, although she claims she's from a black family. I'm still not sure how that happens. But as a citizen reporter, I got to I gotta put the information down as I see it. Now, I'm colorblind. Color means nothing to me. Gender means nothing to me. Your religion, your these things mean nothing to me. I love mm -hmm. people for who they are. Be a good person, I'm going to love you. Be a horrible person, I ain't going to be that fond of you. But she says she's white. Female, that's probably up for debate as well. Date of birth, 8562. Stop it. He said female, but <laughs> okay. All right. Weight, 115. Height, 5'2". You know, these are guesses. Apparently now she's 80 pounds, according to some of her supporters. And the interesting thing is, um, a firearm weighs well under two pounds. And that can be, mm -hmm. that can unalive anybody in a heartbeat. All right. What kind of vehicle? A Jeep white. Uh, it's a gladiator, right? Oh, nicknames, Michelle, Lacey, Alexis. Let's let's just be honest. This is not long enough for all the names. Not in. I heard she had over like 40 aliases. That's crazy. A long shot. Now, previously we knew of 39 aliases. Now oh. there's 40. Oh, there's she's 40. She's changed her name to Michelle Preston Sr. New alias for her. New alias, new con. Okay. All of the things that she's done. She's committed stalking, previously interacted, harassed, stalked, cyber stalked. She's already been found guilty on all of this. As a matter of fact, you're going to see it here in just a moment in ohio and sharon thank you so much also sheriffs came in to jeremy to tell if someone put a hit see what i'm saying like are we waiting for somebody to freaking die at this point and if this judge which we've already read the review has a history of not taking things like this seriously he's not going to take this seriously this this guy needs to remove himself or somebody needs to remove him like get out the way this is insanity. And threatened, for that and harm, family harm, uh, intentionally injured, killed family, pet, no. That's the one thing she hasn't done. She has never, ever, ever been on our properties that we have allowed. Or that they have known about, right? Never. Now, she would dump rotten food at the entrance of the gate in hopes of getting money in return from us. But she has never, and Crook has never been invited or allowed on our property. He's trespassing. It's all on video. Yes, yes. There you go. That's that is the, the trespassing is all on video, which we'll get to. She later. would take chalk and draw weird smiley faces at our entrance at our road, at our road, on which the is public road. yeah okay. Used, threatened against petitioner weapons. Yep, guns circled right there. Criminal uh, violence, if known. Yep, they have records. Both of them have records. As a matter of fact, she's had an injunction to keep her away from her own grandkids. Judge issued for good cause. He has domestic violence. She has theft in her background as well. But she wants to claim she's got a clean record. There's nothing clean about either of these two individuals. Mm. And we go on another order of protection. Yep, we already have one. So let's see what happens here. Uh, we've got to go on through all this information. I'm asking for George to be protected as well. Understand there's some information in here for Do you notice how it's all whited out i mean shout out to them for whiting it out for george's own protection and for others protection that i've redacted and this is a good time to remind everybody don't ever ever contact anybody that we are sharing the news about you can be educated you can even be entertained but let me let me repeat that do not contact these people um these are just subjects that we're discussing and i say this to echo what he's saying because it's something that we just have to do um more than one occasion i've seen this where you know people are covering stories and they're wanting to go above and beyond the covering don't do that but do not contact anybody except the proper authorities if you feel you saw something that was inappropriate all right we're going to get into the it's actual crazy. that's the copy of the petition now this is my letter to judge craig de thomas it is a two-pager and there's look at that information redacted and i think the easiest thing to do is just read it now you're going to see emotion and raw emotion in this that you typically don't see in a what the hails video because there are things that we don't show with the entire world yet this is so deep and this is so concerning we are starting to show some of these deep emotions and deep fears so presiding judge that would be craig de thomas says, my current life's work involves video vlogging my life and sharing it on the platform known as youtube and as such a fan base has grown and certain individuals have inappropriately stalked me to the point of intentionally purchasing property directly across the street from me in an attempt to receive monetary donations and promotion this couple that is the crazy part like you really move right next to me to watch me to get money from me to 
to what exactly? I mean, maybe she wanted to be a YouTuber. Maybe they wanted to be YouTubers. I'm not really sure. Maybe that's the whole thing. I I'm kind of wondering, you know? A couple known as Lynette Preston and John Crow stalked myself and George to the town of Otter Creek. My first interaction with Lynette Preston and John Aww. Crow was when I received an email in late 2021 explaining that they were my new neighbors and they needed my help to move a tree with my tractor. Come to find out later, they lied about owning the property at that point in time. And therefore, they lured me into trespassing and removing a tree that didn't even belong to them. <gasps> That's the first lie. From there the you go. Pathetic, habitual, pathological liar, Lynette. Once I refused to give them money, in-kind donations, and promotion on YouTube, they became uh, they began a hate campaign and encouraged others to join them as well. And promotion on YouTube. This YouTube stuff gets real. Uh, sh uh, Sharon says, I am an Ohio person watching Jeremy. He hired Precious and Christian. My heart is broken for Jeremy and George. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. She wanted to be, see, Jody? Mm. I don't know. See, people get really, they want to be social media personalities that'll do anything. George is a darling too. I've been talking to her since last year when I found out they had been scammed on a unit. Wow, Abby. I've heard really great things about them. I mean, I don't know them personally, but I've heard really uh, great things about them. I was watching their live stream. Was it Sunday? And they literally broke into a song. I was like, oh my God, this is so hilarious. Just the level of engagement everybody gets into. I mean, the engagement level, everybody's in it. I think it's great. They created multiple Facebook pages and groups with the following, including, but not limited to, Otter Creek, Florida Politics and other things, Otter Creek Friends and Family, Otter Creek, The Heart of Otter Creek, Otter Creek, Jeremy Hales, The Coward of Levy County. It's a shelf thing, times two, and her current one, Otter Creek. But understand, this isn't limited. We know of 14 pages right now, which she lied under oath in her deposition. Wow. Both line up Preston and her paramour. Yes, I said it. Paramore. And her paramore. John Crook. Yeah, I did. I said it. It's right there on purpose. Throwing her own words back in her face. Her paramore. John Crook used these pages to intimidate and cause fear for both myself and George. They used social media accounts and the following to incite harm by encouraging other social media members to attack myself and George through dark web tactics. We have all the screenshots. All right. They Who do. Who else did it, George? Oh, that's right. Victoria Vic Munsell. Vicopedia. Victoria Munsell incriminating herself. You know, you can't even write this garbage. This is so insane. And birds of a feather always flock together. Victoria is just as mentally unstable as Lynette and John Crook. Posting our private address and phone number in their hate groups for others to use and information to intimidate, cause fear, and use maliciously. Oh, and who helped her get that? Marla Hughes, another individual that's local in Levy County that no one likes. I don't even think Marla likes herself. She's so despicable. I just don't understand. And population is 106 as of 2021. Like... Yo, people really don't like it. I, I don't get that. You would think that there'd be a little bit like less population, more harmony. Maybe they just don't like the fact that they're like, they just don't like them. And it's just a hate group, right? Um, Rosa says, when someone is that obsessed, it doesn't usually end well and not on a legal way. Rosa, you ain't never lie. I mean, this is why I fear. I know that they're coping by, you know, doing the best that they can informing everybody but my biggest fear is that they're not being taken serious by this judge um maybe he has a well he has a prejudice for sure he has a prejudice and bias but maybe he has a bone to pick with the whole youtube thing maybe he feels like now all my stuff is going to be you would think that he would be on his best behavior but now he's made a reputation for himself i just i cannot you know all right. Enraging the LGBTQ group to attack myself and those I love. When it's crook, they keep saying he's going to see me in a orn and he's trying to shove things up my uh, ectum and George's as well. We're actually going to see that within this very, very thick packet here. Oh, my God. Posting the value of our homes and the dates that we will not be there to encourage break-ins and actually harassing, put an S at the beginning, actually harassing my, both myself and George. They also physically stalked me and my employees to my property in Otter Creek. On May 23rd, 2023, they were issued a cease and desist, which they ignored. The cease and desist only enraged their inappropriate behavior to the point that John Crook pointed a firearm at me in May of 2023. So this was not only a threat to shoot, this was not the only threat to shoot me in 2023. On August 22, in 2023, Lynette Preston contacted the mayor of our Ohio village in an attempt to encourage him to push us out of town. They also posted 11 handwritten signs around Outer Creek declaring that I was a child rapist. In his own home area, you guys. You're going to catch these hands if you're saying that ish about me on my own town. Bunny says, Bunny Mom, shout out to Bunny Mom, says they look at them like they're outsiders because they're not from there. So they're trying to run them out of the town. That's what it is. Is that what it is? That's just crazy, you guys. I'm, mm, 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 I cannot. Thank you for the $4.99, love. Um, 
you said Judge's YouTube channel was a failure. It, it well, you know, you're right, B. I see. I lived in a small town at one point. I mean, I moved around a lot when I was younger, but I lived in a small town at one point, and it wasn't too. I mean, I was a kid then. It wasn't too bad, but B. I mean, this is this is a whole different level. Hmm. Jeremy exposed corruption from the mayor, and he stood up for the town. That is why they're allowing this. That's crazy. That I heard. We heard. We heard that they that they were told there's a hit on them. But now, now with the sheriff saying this, is the judge going to do something about this? Because it's my when I was watching this video, this is the information that the judge didn't want release. So is he going to take this serious? Like, are we going to have to have 120 YouTube channels talking about Judge Thomas in order for people to take this? See, this is serious, yo. Somebody's going to get killed. That's what worries me. And I like I. I'm praying that that's not the case. OK, that's not what we want. But you put you put a hit on people's. The judge is not taking restraining orders or anything, any of this serious. He feels like this is just. People on YouTube, he doesn't take it serious. So for me, it's like, do people have to die? Is that what it is? We got hits on people while this is going on. It's crazy. You can figure out the real word there. We need to uh, adjust for appropriateness. We never know who's viewing, and it's also a family-friendly channel. There are also just a couple examples out of thousands that could be shared within a full hearing. By the way, they will be shared. On 9-25-23, an Ohio court issued an ex parte civil protection order against both Lynette Preston and John Crook. On 11-1-23, an Ohio court issued a two-year protection order against Lynette and John Crook. Both Lynette and John Crook have knowingly broken these civil protection orders on multiple occasions to further intimidate, cause fear for myself and George. They physically stalked us to the Levy County Sheriff's Office in the last week of October 23, 23 as we announced in a live stream, we're going to be visiting there the following day. On November 13th, they broke the 500-foot order by placing themselves physically on North Otter Creek Avenue, despite the civil protection order, clearly stating they may not be on a public or a private road that we are on. Crazy. Lynette Preston, she entered the Otter Creek Post Office on November 30th to intimidate George. She knowingly parked right next to George, entered the post office, looked directly at George, which you're going to see a photo of. Look directly at George and carried on as if there was. Hey, me, you. <laughs> he's like, whoa, he's talking fast. No, I did speed it up to 1.5. Please note that. Yes, he does. Be Jeremy has proof of everything. So I did speed it up. <laughs> me, he was like, whoa. Okay, he's talking really fast. Well, and normally I do think that Jeremy does talk very fast when he's like really overly or just excited about what's going on or really upset. That's just his personality. I picked up on that. But <laughs> he does talk, really. <laughs> Good to see you, love. Okay. Um, yes, I did speed it up. Y'all are so funny in the chat. All right. Let me hit play. There was no civil protection order. For these reasons and many others that involve both Lynette and John Crook, I'm living in daily fear of my life. Lynette Preston has publicly posted she will pop a cap in me and others. We're going to show it. John Crook has threatened to shoot. Says she's going to pop a cap in me and others. And and there's also the mention of the current threat to today. You know, I I don't get it. Like, People need to do something. And this is coming from a social work perspective. Like, come on, you guys, systems, judicial systems. I worked in government for 10 years. This shit has to be taken serious. It really does. Me on multiple occasions. We're going to show it. Due to being stalked by these two individuals, I've had to seek professional help to lower my stress. My family doctors put me on blood pressure medication as in July of 2023. My relationship with George has been severely damaged by our fear of returning to our home in Otter Creek. And who's paying for that? Is that Jeremy that's paying for that? Because he's the victim. Jeremy and George are victims here. So the people that need to be paid for that are the people that are causing this stress. That's who needs to pay for this. I fear leaving my property, knowing that they may be stalking me everywhere I go. Case in point, just days ago, she stalked us to Walmart and told us we were number one. She gave us the double fisted, you're number one, but with the middle finger. All right, let's keep going on. Uh, we've had to hire additional security for ourselves so that we can attend town hall meetings after they publicly stated on Facebook they would break the civil protection orders and be present. The Ohio courts have already found both Lynette Preston and John Crook to be a danger to both me and George. I'm requesting that the Florida courts uphold the Ohio court's decision and add Florida injunctions protecting both myself and George from these extremely dangerous people. I'm requesting your intervention before our lives are taken by these two yes. stalkers, Jeremy Hales. Now, the reality is this. The law says by good faith and measure, they must, they must take. That was a letter that he wrote to the judge. Judge Craig to Thomas. Now, is it being taken serious? Yes. Um, uh, 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 Beast 13. Yes. That this is what I heard too, that there was a hit put out on them. And it's still not, no, none of this is being 
take it serious. See, they're paying for all their treatment, everything when they're the victims of this. They're asking for help. This good old boy mentality, small town, whatever, whatever, like, stop it take the Ohio civil protection orders and give us injunctions. Did Craig de Thomas do that? Nope. He took this entire packet and sealed it from eyes ever seeing it. Attached within the letter of cease and desist. Made sealed it. The judge sealed it. 23rd, 2023, John Crook, line at Preston, cease and desist, publishing all defamatory, the fam the, C the C and D letter. He's showing us receipts. Defamatory. This is defamation. Listen, she can have freedom of speech if it's protected speech. If she speaks truth, if she's sharing an opinion, that's okay. When she's inciting hate, when she's inciting harm, that is not protected. No, to saying that somebody is doing putting signs about this man doing something to a child, that is not protected speech. That's not even, that's not opinion. That's defamation, straight up. Speech and defamation is not protected speech. And you see right here, cease and desist, all defamatory statements. We gave them the opportunity. We ignored them for months and months and months. And then we gave them the opportunity to stop. And what happened? It just got worse and worse. So now what we have, now what we have in here as well is our actual civil protection orders. Now you can see within the civil protection orders that, and we've shown this before, they must at all times stay 500 feet away from us unless they're on 500 feet away unless they're That's on their crazy. property and we're on our property. Then it can be 10 feet. So when she cries and screams and yells, Jeremy was screaming at us 10 feet. I said it twice. It was a warning, get on your own property. what they have to do? Step over, get on their own property. But we weren't on our property. So really in all reality, they were still guilty of breaking the civil protection order because they should have never been in the road anyway. And you're going, wait, you're telling me they can't be in the road? No, they cannot be in the road. As a matter of fact, because of the civil protection order that clearly states that they may not be on the road whether it's private or public at any point in time that we're on the road, public and private roads right there. Clear as day. As a matter of fact, crazy. Here, respondent shall not enter any business school, any anywhere. It, it doesn't matter whether it's a public or a private facility. And that means town hall doesn't matter even if they're employed there. They can't be there, which they're not employed, nor will they ever be. So they've continued to break this civil protection order. So as a matter of fact, we've got one here, the civil protection order against Lynette and then another civil protection order against Crook. So, so you know, so so when I talk when I think about this whole situation, and I'm so glad, like shout out to Megan Fox again. She wrote a very great article kind of breaking this down for those that for me, especially because I have ADHD and I get all over the place. Um, trying to understand the little different parts of this is very important it is very important that you understand ohio what happened there it's very important that you understand the current things that these people are doing to understand how they're violating things and how this judge isn't doing his job but believe it or not there are people that actually defend the judge i'm going to show you a post let me keep playing this. So these are the copies of the civil protection orders. And then we get into the actual evidence. For example, right here, November 5th, what's on my mind is this. I've never been diagnosed with any mental health issues ever. That's odd because we have professional, professional. <laughs> it's, it's, it is so disgusting. It will curl your stomach. You will heave at the aspect of the psychiatrist, what she has to say about Lynette. It is disgusting. It will mm -hmm. make you vomit. She is a horrible mother. She is a horrible person. Now you say, Jeremy, is that your opinion? Is that actually protected speech? It is my opinion, but I go beyond that. This is a professional psychiatrist opinion. And we will share that in its entirety at the appropriate time. Ooh, we, let me stop right here. Remember that website that I told you guys about? Let me read you a review. Let's zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Okay, somebody wrote in here. Uh, Honorable De Thomas, the judge, is being crucified now by all of a certain YouTubers and followers. I sincerely believe that all these septic reviews will be shown to be words being echoed by this YouTuber. This judge has explained his proceedings throughout the hearing, but I guess this is not the way the YouTuber expected it to go. He has reached out to his followers to report, report, report. It's obvious it's not going well and turning out how he thought. He is now attacking the judge on his channel as a as suffering black robe syndrome. This was the same the same website, y'all, that I told you about right here. Reviews on channel. They wrote a review there saying. That the judge is being attacked. Mm. I wonder who wrote that. I do wonder who wrote that. 
Number two, unfortunately, perjury happened. Oh my goodness, perjury happened? How in the world can perjury happen in the Ohio courts when it's all truth? They oh. all admitted to every screenshot we provided. Except it was all Marla. It was all Marla. And by the way, we just ordered the audio hearings from Ohio courts. We're going to let you hear Lynette in her own voice claim that everything that happened was Marla Hughes. And Krill wow. is going to claim that everything that happened wasn't me. Well, here we go. Unfortunately, perjury happened. And we were given a two-year no-stalking order that we are not guilty of, but we did not lose our gun rights. And I will post and document in the AM. And I'm an appeal. It's being filed immediately. Oh, by the way, God bless. Okay, well, let's be clear. Number one, there is no appeal. This is the same thing she's been doing for over a year now saying, oh, I've got a lawyer. My lawyer said this, lawyer, I've got a lawyer. She's never had a lawyer. The only time she's ever had a lawyer is recently and she got a silver scam. That's it. Only lawyer she ever got. There is no appeal. So when the people gave her $7,000, is that the only time that there was a lawyer? Yeah, B, there's some punctuation and misspellings. But then again, I'm not a grammar slob because I, I suck at grammar. Hell, I suck at reading. I can own that. English is not my first language, so it takes me a minute. Uh, the court hearings are uh, on Otter Creek playlist. Yes. Thank you, Cynthia. Uh, folks can judge for themselves. And that's the best part is that in their on their channel, they have a playlist where you guys can see all the court hearings. I've been watching. I've been catching up. But it's been kind of nice to get a more condensed kind of breakdown of all of this. So yeah, that's just my thoughts. When our judicial system fair games, I don't understand anything anymore. I just know, I just know YouTube chat, LOL. Right, Kim? It's like, what happened here? I feel like everybody's being fair gamed here. I don't know. Appeal, there is nothing, nor can she appeal it. There is nothing she can do except obey it. And if she doesn't, she gets the consequences of not obeying it. Now, here's no. our very first date back in Florida, right here. This is a Levy County deputy. This is Lynette driving her vehicle. And right behind you, you can see my 20-foot trailer and my, you know, that's that's Ramsey's number two, the blue truck, even though this is in black and white. They stalked us because we had a live stream the night before saying the very first place we were going was the sheriff's station. Well, that's she was crazy. crazy. Handicap spot and then intentionally moved right next right to the truck. Right next trailer. to our vehicle after we have screenshots of them saying they're going to put nails and everything under our tires and, and trackers. trackers. So this is a screenshot from the video proving they stalked us immediately within minutes of getting into Levy County. That's part of our petition. Here's another one right here proving that crook and her broke the civil protection order. Here's crook in the middle of the road. And you can go, it's a road. It's a public road. He is allowed to be in it. No, he's not. not the so I just don't understand why, if they have something on Ohio, why isn't that enough? Why does it? Why isn't it enough for a judge in Florida to see? Yes, this is a concern. Like, yes, there's a safety concern. Yes, this, this is even if he like I I don't get that part. I don't. My frustration is all the way up here. here. All the way up here. Yes, it does. It, it certainly does. This calls for like a Cardi B moment. It, it really does, y'all. Let, let me let me bring Cardi B over here. Okay, where's where she at? Where this this is like one of those. What was the reason? Why is all this happening? I had a reason. Huh? What, what, a was reason. The reason? I had a reason. what was the reason? I had a reason. What was the reason? What was the reason? I just explained, I just explained the reason. What was the reason, bitch? I don't need to explain myself to you. And what was the reason? <laughs> That's what I want to ask the judge. Like, what was the reason? Really? What was the reason, bitch? What was it? Okay? I don't get it. Mm. The law the states order. he cannot, nor did he have any need to be in the road. He should have been on his own property. The way to the road is just as flat as it would have been on the road. Because here's what they keep saying. Well, we need to be on the road to measure our property. Nobody needs to be on the road to measure the property, period. You think surveyors came out on our 70 acres and they're on a road measuring? No, they're in the fix and the brush and the woods and the, you name it, the was water. It, wasn't he on his property putting up their trashy The very fence? next day, he's up putting the trash fence. I mean, it's on his property, on his property. not on the road. the road. Not it's on the road, crazy. on his property. Insanity, right? Here's another. There's another photo of them breaking the civil protection order. Right Look at here. this. It's 11 13, 2023, right there. Let me tell you something. If they got them in picture breaking the protection order, all right? If you if if they're in if if you're capturing them on your camera phone in picture, why is it something not being done? Why? Ohio judge and attorney needs to move on this also. Absolutely. And why? Why was the seal? Why was the seal? I think that the judge is more concerned about what people are saying about him on YouTube. Truly. Mm -hmm.
All right, so there's another one for the civil protection order. Now, here we go with another post. This is from Lynette, all right? I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna read it. It's probably easiest. She's such a manic poster and hopefully there's punctuation, but I seriously doubt it. John was never in the middle of the road. Wait, hold a second. Did we just not show one, two? Um, yeah, we showed two photos of him in the middle of the road. Not to mention our video, not to mention her video. Absolutely. Oh, SW, I just did a, uh, I know you just joined, but I did a really a breakdown early on the stream to explain why we're here for those that don't understand check it out it'll help kind of um catch you up and it's a quick one good evening franklin shout out to you thank you so much for being here oh perjury perjury he was definitely on the public truly road, was not on their property john was never in the middle of the road that's funny because in ohio court he stated to my lawyer and to the judge that he was in the middle of the road and he said suck my and uh we'll say brick OK, but when asked by my lawyer who he said it to, he says he said it to Lynette, the judge and my lawyer and me are all looking at each other like what? And my well, see, and I don't know, like, I don't know if it's necessarily all of Florida. Maybe it's that specific area, that little town. That judge at Florida is too busy trying to protect their reputation with all this mess. They are they aren't doing anything. I think that's what you meant to say. Shout out to you, Kim. Thank you for renewing your membership. You said Lisa says um, the comment left on the website was probably Marla Hughes. I wouldn't doubt it. She responded to me on YouTube video. I commented. I don't know what Mar. I mean, is she's part of the problem too? Like it's a group of them. But what what? I always try to figure this out, but see, when, when there's so much vitriol and hate and there's no reason for it, that is scary. That is like somebody could really hurt you. Scary. Why are these people hated this way? That's what I want to know. Whether it's a Marla or whatever the hell her name is, why are these people hated this way? Does anybody know? I understand, again, not the first lawsuit on Florida concerning YouTube. All of the lie nut followers. Why? Why is it being done this way? Let me know. If you guys, like, is there something to hate about these people? Did they do something? Is it because of YouTube, social media? Is it money? Is it financial? Which one is it? My lawyer goes, so you're telling me you told your ex-wife mm. to suck your brick? In goes, the middle of yeah, our measuring. Yeah, yeah, I did. Oh my goodness. Oh, John never made a comment. Well, not to mention at all to why, anyone. Why would she tell him to shut up if he Funny, wasn't talking? Never to made you. a comment to anybody, but under oath in Ohio court, which you are going to hear, he admits to the comment, but he says that he said it to Lynette. But me, nobody made a comment to anyone but me. Yeah, well, there you go. Maybe, maybe, maybe just comment. <laughs> That's oh crazy. Goodness. All right, John was walking on a walker with his leg. And let me stop right here. Look, it is. I know that they have to have a sense of humor about this. I am one of those people that like laughs, has an awkward laugh, an awkward, you know, if something is really bad um, that is happening. But you, I don't know, y'all, like I'm frustrated and I'm over here, you know? So I would imagine that everybody here is probably just as frustrated. This is like totally not a joke. This is really scary that these people are going through this this thigh crotch area is he still two days post-surgery from a knee replacement uh nobody is out walking like that two days from a knee replacement he did not have a full knee replacement there's more lies let's keep going on mm. john was dragging a tape measure as we were measuring our property a neighbor was parked outside of our road facing the opposite direction and was a witness to everything funny that witness isn't in court that witness isn't helping you one bit that witness is a pathetic individual that witness is nothing but a horrible individual gossip here in otter creek who sold us this land illegally with two known encroachments whose husband then a runk comes on the property trespasses then destroys property and makes the uh, famous middle finger well this is the same neighbor that we have texts on her calling them crazy yeah That's absolutely crazy. we have that as well okay and i don't know how they sleep at night i would be scared to sleep i'm just letting you guys know you say it's jealousy right debbie it is crazy their lives are in danger it, that's that's my concern it's it's not being taken serious and so if i was in his position if I was Jeremy, if I was George, and I had no other recourse but to tell people, if y'all don't hear from me in a couple days, if something happens to me, I want you to know who did it. I'm glad that they're speaking out, but I'm concerned for them. And, and I would be concerned if I don't hear from them, if you know they're uploading daily, if nobody hears from them, people should be concerned.
this has just gotten so scary. She was a witness to everything and an advocate and a victim's advocate from Akron, Ohio was on the phone with me for the initial confrontation. I told her I had to go so I could film what was about to happen. And then I videoed it, my video, and it showed the Levy County Sheriff's Department two very different things. Odd how two videos can show two different things when it's a video of the exact same thing. Uh, debunked yet again. I was given a case number because what happened was harassment to us. It was obvious we, we were on the side of the road because John couldn't push his walker in the grass. Nobody violated any order. And yet John pushed a walker all the way back from their 1.66 acres to the road. Wow. Oh, so he can't push a walker in the property. But he was actually doing that exact thing the next day, putting up a trash, a completely okay. and totally trash fence. All right. And what happens next on 11 30, 2023? Look where Lynette is looking Great. straight in George's camera, eye to eye. She's looking at the camera. She's violating you guys. And this stupid judge is not doing anything. Matt says, Jeremy already made plans for his family. If something happens, he already told us. I'm glad. I'm glad. It's scary. I heard. Tre Treasure, do you know, did uh, Jeremy say it directly or where did, because I heard about this too, but I'm hearing it through other people. Or is it in this video? I think it is in this video. It says, according to what the house, the sheriff delivered an email to them today and apparently stated a hit has been placed on them. Haven't heard any updates. So is this going to be the hit that this judge takes serious at this point? Like, is he actually going to take this shit serious? Nobody's ever take. They're not taking this serious, you guys. Somebody's going to get hurt. I keep repeating myself, but I think I'm just like, I don't know, y'all. Like, are, am I taking crazy pills or what? I, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Eye contact, just like I'm looking at you now in the camera. She knows. She 100%. found my date right outside. She walks past my. This is right the crazy it. part. She breaks the civil protection order, makes eye contact with George. Here is George's vehicle. Here's Lynette next to the vehicle. Here's Lynette parked by George's vehicle, right there through the window. And what's she doing out there? She's talking to another resident, Captain Dan Shannon. Of they're being followed, you guys. They probably got people that call them and let them know when they're at the store, when they're doing something. And so then suddenly these guys just show up randomly, knowing that nothing is going to happen. These people need to be arrested. They all need to be arrested. They need to be prosecuted. Of Otter Creek. She is not fleeing like she's supposed to, not removing herself immediately like she's supposed to. She okay. Is completely and totally ignoring the Ohio civil protection orders. As a matter of fact, if she was driving, she'd probably flip both up to Ohio and say, You're number one. You're number one. All right, let's see what else is going on here. Hey, George, I recognize this. Do you recognize this? That's our house. Oh, that Ohio. is, that is. That's Hale's headquarters. And this is. <gasps> Look at that. So the lying lady, she's posting pictures of their house on chats. That's her. Why is this okay? And thank you, Rhonda. They said it on Megan Fox's live stream earlier. Thank you for the heads up. So there's a hit on them. But are they going to take it serious? Is this judge going to take it serious? Probably not. This is what Lynette has claimed in court. That's the Ohio not House? Not one court, both courts. Okay. That Marla Hughes did. All right. Who is the author, the admin, and the poster here, George? Lynette, Michelle, she'll give you hell, Preston. And who stated this here? Lynette Michelle. And who stated this? Lynette Michelle. How in the world is this Marla Hughes? Now, I'm not a fan of Marla oh, Hughes. Wait, she turned off commenting for that post. Oh, can't even claim that Marla came in afterwards. Now, Marla is a horrible, horrific individual with no friends and spends all day on, on Facebook and getting banned from places on Facebook because she's wow. so negative. But I don't see her in here. Can't blame Marla Hughes for this. But what I can tell you is she posted our property. And then she goes on to say, by the way, it's public knowledge. It's public information. Anyone can get it. Just Google him. You'll get his address. You'll see his house. You'll see the cost of it. I mean, what the heck? Oh, wait. Hell, oh, wait. Yeah, we won't say it. And then what does she say right here? I'm not afraid of you. Why in the world? She said, I am not afraid of you. And Rosa, thank you for becoming a member. Shout out to you, love. Do you think she promised to be... Ooh, ooh, Angela said, what? You mean intimate? Do you think she promised to be intimate with the judge if he died with, what do you mean? Sorry, I miss, you could type it up, Angela. I Maybe I'm misreading this. The victim's advocate's son. The Facebook menace. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If somebody calls you a Facebook menace, log off, okay? Because it's not that serious. You mean? Okay, uh, do you think she promised to be intimate with the judge? You mean had sex with him if he died? If he died with her? What you mean? Did I read that correctly? Maybe I'm misinterpreting that. 
This is why my property is in the name of an LLC, says T Maker. That's smart, T Maker. They never looked at the paper, so I don't think he cares. I don't think he cares at all. He said, okay, if they had sex, that's what you mean. I I, I heard some stuff. Okay. Cited. All right. Intimate. I why did I read intimate? Cited with her. Hold up, hold up. Let me read it again. Sorry, Angela. I'm like, let me understand your comment. I don't want to. <laughs> uh, if he, okay, I think if he sided with her, gotcha. Do you think the judge would have sex? Do you think, do you think she promised to have sex with the judge if he sided with her? Is that what you mean? Did I read that correctly? Because now that makes sense. Gotcha. Girl, I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. It's a typo. It says died, but I think you meant cited. Let me know, Angela. We don't know, but that's an interesting question. Okay. <laughs> you mean she, did she agree to do the nasty nasty with her? I it's a small town, yo. I, I'm learning. It's a small town, apparently. Okay. Like, I cannot. Y'all are having a reaction. <laughs> I'm laughing at you guys. Just, just say the word. Just say, look, the, 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 maybe they agree to do the nasty or something. I don't know. You say she's not well. Doc, I don't know, man. To each his own. Say so it would be the nasty. It's the nasty, nasty. <laughs> Y'all are too much. All right, let me stop because you guys got me laughing here and trying to get this going. Would Judge Thomas see this? seal this in the court system knowing that Lynette has filed a petition stating that she's afraid of me and she posts right here i'm not afraid of you not only that in Lynette's petition she posts that i tell everybody don't contact her why would judge craig to thomas even allow this in a court mm. she yeah. obviously has posted she's not afraid she's obviously in her petition stated that jeremy tells everybody don't contact me there has been no contact on my behalf and nobody can hold me accountable for third-party contact that she makes up and she even I don't know, you guys. You guys are saying she's a former stripper. Well, damn. I, I don't know nothing. I don't know the lady. Maybe she was, but Lord have mercy. I mean, I'm trying to figure out. I would probably believe that there's some kind of a relation, like as in like they're related with each other, something or something. Maybe they're third, fourth, fifth cousins. I don't know. I'm just thinking outside the box. Why? Just the moves of this judge is just just weird. Is it just me who feels like it's just I know I can't be the only one. You know? She's got about 40 aliases. Not a two dollar hoe. <laughs> All right, let me stop. You guys are too much. She claims she's not afraid. Right there. Oh, by the way, boom. There she is. She tells everybody and she goes like in and she tells our village, mm. Ohio. Oh, there's so much more. So much more. All right, here's another one. Line that Preston. You see it right there? Here we go. This is all part of our petition. I feel it's only fair since he's broadcasted my married names out there. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. It's only Googleable. It's Googleable. Remember? Let's see. Um, by the way, it's public knowledge. It's public information. Anyone can get it. Just Google him. Oh, that's odd. All we did was Google, and we found 39 aliases up to 40 now. I feel it's only fair since he broadcasted my married names. You mean aliases, 39 up to 40, because she scams and she goes and she changes it and scams and goes and changes it, scams and goes and changes it to the world and where I live that he thinks, oh, by the way, I didn't broadcast where she lives. She's posted it on all of her Facebook groups, her address, her phone number, her email address, all of her GoFundMe, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of GoFundMe's exploiting a child. It's sickening. It's sickening. Oh, and the world where I live and he, what he thinks. Okay, question. And maybe you guys might know this. Not inflation. Stop. Um, is the child hers or is the child somebody else's? Help me understand in the chat. She's taking care of a child. Is it her child, grandchild? What? Whose child is this? Truth about me and that nowhere near the truth. I figured at least I can do is let you know where he lives and what is and what George's real name is. And why keep lying about it, Jeremy? Well, let's get something very clear. George's real name is Adopted? George. Her middle name is legally George. In you said adopted? Huh. That's interesting. It's a grandchild? Okay. Legal adoption? Private adoption? Private adoption. Okay, y'all know this. I'm just kind of curious. Allegedly, 
the child see i don't know private adopt okay so aside from me it's not her grandchild mm, this is weird and the way in which she's handling herself in this situation we're not concerned about that child's safety mm, okay in the Arabic culture, the father gives all of the children his name. So there are five children in her family, two females, three boys. Every single one of them have George in their name. It's their middle name. And one of them even has George as the first name. And so the, so for those that were wondering, George, that is George's name. And George has the middle name. So here we go. Here she is again, posting all of our property values, where we live, everything. Oh, by the way, even our, our profile pictures from Egypt, where we were surrounded by AK-47s the entire time by security Oh, my guards. God. Oh, here's more. Lynette Preston. Do you see Marla Hughes anywhere? Did Marla, I see Marla, Marla Hughes on her commented, phone. but Lynette's telling the courts, Marla did all of this. Marla did all of that. No, I'm pretty sure that name right there. Is that, is that Marla? I get it. Marla, Marla Hughes. Is huh. right there. I get it. But Lynette Preston is right there posting it. She posted an aerial map of Hale's headquarters. Oh, and by the way, that's we, doxing when you we, do it. The we way do often did. say that we have a 6,000 square foot house. And um, and this is actually wrong. Oh, no, three ba three bathrooms is right. Right. Yeah, we have three bathrooms. Four bedrooms is wrong. So this is wrong. Four bedrooms is wrong. We actually have five and 5,910 square feet. That is correct. But that doesn't take into account the the uh, wine cellar. So we often we just round it. And we say we have 6,000 square feet. So I don't want anybody to go, oh, my goodness, I just saw that. They're a liar. No, we're not a liar. We have 6,000 square feet. And honestly, we, we don't use much of it anyway. And why did we buy it? Why did we spend the money to buy it? Because it's completely and totally isolated and protected. We did because it because you, of these freaks. Well, because you can too. We did it because these freaks shared with us that we need to protect ourselves first and foremost, and that we have to, have to have security, the number one issue in our lives. Oh, why? Because of this, Lynette Michelle Preston. I'm going to proudly wear my un in my holster on my property. And if anyone messes with me, I'm going to put a cap in there. Hmm. These two are always talking about the backside, aren't they, George? Wow. It's an obsession. Doxing may be a new term for some of you. Now, sharing somebody's aliases that you can find in a Google search, that's not doxing. Now, doxing is sharing somebody's address, their whereabouts, the private property with malicious intent. And That is scary. I've had that happen to me here um, where somebody put a picture of me and my children up and made threats and they literally doxed me. It was very, it was malicious. It's something that I'm still dealing with legally and outside of here and whatnot, but it like, when it happens, I don't wish that on anybody. I've never done that to anybody. So when it happens to you, it just sucks. And that is their intent. They've posted that intent. They want people to know when we're not home and where our home is. And the reason they do that is so people can come and hurt you. Um, specifically, this person wants several people wanted to make sure that I was hurt by this. And obviously, our homes are filled with valuable things. You see us on YouTube finding valuable things all the time. There's things that are even up on the wall right yep. here. For example, that cabinet right there. I know that cabinet is about a $500 champion cabinet. And this moose is about a $5,000 moose. At least it was until the Florida humidity. Damage. So I could get it fixed, no doubt. But that moose, when I found it, it's $5,000 moose. So we have other posting here. What they've done is doxed. What we've done is just shown aliases. So we've shown truth. They've shown malicious intent. Now, these are all horrific things that have been posted. Calling George mm -hmm. a sand, the N-word, stating they're going to put nails and trackers. And there's the tracker trackers on our vehicles which makes you wonder because she just followed us to walmart is there a tracker on our vehicle oh I mean, my god we have not checked it and i think it might be time oh and here's crook here's crook with his illegal sign which by the way even the paint he had to beg for paint on all of these levy county uh, facebook groups he had to beg for paint to cover up his illegal sign about russell and stuart stewart and mary and and attorney worm and all of that and what does he state he states the eight foot by four foot, 11 foot high sign, which was illegally on their property. They're 501c3. They cannot be for or against any candidate. And they were. Now Crook is saying is now ready again to post what, oh, look at that. Capital W. You think that's in regards to what the hails? Mm -hmm. Capital W. What the fools of Otter Creek are doing to screw over the town. He's insinuating us. Yeah. Oh my God. This is like, I recommend everybody go watch it. Pev says, if y'all don't know the answers, don't try and answer, Miss Rabbit. If there is time in your life, please watch their videos. Love to all. Uh, thank you for the $10, Miss Pet. I'm not trying to answer for anybody. I definitely recommend that you guys go watch the videos. Uh, thank you so much for your comment. Um, yeah, definitely. And I'm also catching up. Uh, but these are just questions that I have. A lot of people have questions here. And some of you guys may know because you've been following some of this. So thank you so much for that comment. Yes, doxing is why I always have protection on me, whether at home or somewhere else. It's kind of like you have to. There is so much. I would agree with you on that. I, mm, it's just so crazy that this, this is where we're at. Now, let me just say this.
Okay. I would recommend you guys, um, like, I I'm worried as somebody who's fairly new to even talking about this. Um, I'm concerned for their safety. I really am. And I'm also worried that this, again, I'm going to say it again, it's not being taken serious by the, you know, people that it needs to be taken serious by. I'm worried that somebody's going to get hurt. That's just my thought. I don't know, but it's just so much. And I truly hope that they do get what they need in order to be protected. It's just so much. It's so much. Um, you've watched every single one of their videos. It is. It, Abby, you ain't never lie about that. Never lie. Okay. But I'm going to let you guys go because I got to go tend to my little one. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please share this video. It helps, of course. And hit the like button if you can. Um, let me know your guys' thoughts about that website, reviewing all the judges. What do you guys think? Who wrote the other post, the single post that is in support of the judge? It's weird. Uh, P.S. is why, uh, Jeremy, because I sped him up. That's why he's talking so fast. Uh, thank you so much, Pebs, for that. But I will let you guys go. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. You guys have a great night. And hopefully, we'll definitely be able to review. Don, uh, I would love to. I'd like to uh, interview Jeremy and George. It'd be awesome. Um, you know, hopefully, that's something that they can do. But I don't know. Let me, I mean, what do you guys think? Is that something that we need to do? I'd like to know, is there questions that you guys have um, specifically? Because I know they've been doing a lot of interviews. You know what I'm saying? Definitely need to do a lot of interviews. I'm going to ask Donna that you guys go finish watching it over there. Please do. Uh, I'm just, I wanted to give some commentary to just certain parts of the video. Mel, thank you for being a member for three months. All right, you guys. You guys have a great night. I got to go tend to baby bunny. I'll see you guys on the next one. Rabbits out. Bye, guys. <laughs>